Well, and they're on the field together. So that is how the Lane Kiffin era will begin as Moore takes the swing pass from out of the backfield and the outstanding slot receiver goes ahead for nearly nine yards. Corral played in 10 games last year. Plumley took over after an early injury to Corral. Third and 19, Corral time to wind up and he does it, what a strike! And finding an in cutting Elijah Moore and they convert it. Nothing was there, he took off, picks it up again with his legs. Quick strike and complete to Moore. If you are a superstitious person. Well, tap pass to Moore as he finds something out of that and goes ahead for ten and a half yards. Diagnosing the coverage. Corral downfield and he finds Moore. And Elijah Moore is weaving and he's inside the 20. And with Lane Kiffin trying to get things started here, it is a really difficult task right now. He needs to get guys on campus and develop relationships, and that'll come in time. Matt Corral pumps, goes deep, and is able to connect. And it's Elijah Moore again. One of the most dangerous playmakers in the SEC is having himself a day. I mean, I love it. I mean, first and ten, the safeties are cheating. When the safeties are playing tight, why not? Take a shot one-on-one. -on -one. You got your best receiver. And this time, I think it's going to be Brenton Cox, but we'll see as the season goes along. A couple of NFL draft picks that left the defensive line as Moore makes his way to the 12-yard line. I love it. These defensive linemen in this league, man, there are some athletic big guys up front. There are. Slayton's one of them. Little slingshot sidearm this time to Elijah Moore. I mean, Elijah Moore has been everywhere today, and he adds to his grand total. 31 yards there. Elijah Moore, 10 catches, 227 yards against this Florida defense.